Welcome back, everyone. Please welcome our last presenting company. We have GD Entertainment and Technology, Inc. It trades on the OTC pink sheets under the symbol GDET and focuses on high growth industries to fulfill a diverse selection of premium products worldwide. Please welcome its CEO, Larry Adams. Welcome, Larry. Thank you. All right. The floor is all yours. Well, um, we have a video to start with. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm I'm new to GDET, and I want to thank all the existing shareholders and new shareholders, and hopefully, you know, we go on a nice two, three, two or three year ride here. And um, uh, we have a video to start with. Um, Ryan, you want to start the video? Credit cards are boring, and banks give you few choices to make them unique. But it doesn't have to be that way. Meet Dream Card the newest way to customize your debit or credit cards. The way it works is easy. Use our custom editor to choose from an array of durable metals and everything to make it more you and not them. Add engraved graphics or a custom logo. Ship us your card and in just three days we'll send you something incredible. Something unique that separates you from the rest. Dream card works everywhere that your old card did. It's not magic, it's dream card. Thank you. Um, hope everyone enjoyed the video. We try to use uh, visuals as best we can. Um, GDAT is, uh, I'm, I'm new to GDAT. GDAT was a company that was chasing business models, CBD, uh, mining, maybe before it's time. I've been brought in to re reorganize it. Um, and what we're doing at GDAT is we're creating new business models. Um, we've come to market with the first um, crypto fiat card. What does that mean? That means that an individual can have a single metal card, high quality, designed to his liking or by the company off our website um, with a chip that allows his fiat, maybe Chase Bank, TD Bank, Bank of America, and his Bitcoin, um, maybe from BitPay or um, uh, a Coinbase account, created a card in one so that it gives you ease of service. And as we all know, crypto is getting more and more and more in the mainstream and more vendors are taking it. And it's the only card of its kind. And it's, you know, card that we're creating some uh, uh, legal provisions for. And um, I believe it'll be extremely popular as we move forward. And it's unique and different. Um, so... I want to go to the uh, slideshow. So that's the card itself. And it's a high quality card. As you saw, the second image, the second video was the Clang. It's a VIP type card and has a, uh, uh, a metal uh, frame to it. And again, we can design it, you know, for your needs. Um, the benefits of dual card are, you know, um, obviously uh, more and more uh, uh, millenniums and, and, and customers and clients are getting their, you know, are, are getting into crypto. It's becoming more mainstay. And um, it contains uh, your crypto. It's cold storage, which is safer than a wallet. It can't be hacked. And you can spend it as you, as you see fit. Um, on my Twitter account, I talked about, you know, I, I go to the Borgata. All the casinos are now taking crypto. They don't want any. You know, customers leaving the, the 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 rooms, and you know you can use your uh, 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 debit cards for or your credit cards for your uh, to buy your chips, and or you know that gets down to nil, you can turn around and take two thousand dollars off your Bitcoin. So uh, it gives you options, and it's very user friendly, and it gives you more options. Um. There is a good demand for metal cards. Um, there's many, there's many uh, 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 groups and uh, affinity and loyalty groups that like them. Um, 
they're more VIP. Um, and they're just cool. You know, you can put your girlfriend's picture on it. You can put your dog on it. You can put yourself on it, you know, and, uh, um, they're quite popular, unique and different. Now that's Jim Jones. Everybody knows that I'm the CEO of IMTL. Uh, we're talking to uh, influencers. Jim is an example. Uh, he is very, very big in crypto and um, has his own coins and, and has his own coins. Um, he was in love with the cards. And it's the type of thing where we're going to go to influencers and talk to them about putting their image or their brand on the card, which we will assist them in selling to their fan base. And um, they'll obviously, we'll monetize it and they'll monetize it. And, uh, you know, you take a Kim Kardashian or you take, you know, a Jim Jones, who's uh, issuing his own uh, crypto um, coins now uh, for a business model that we're, work we're working with them on. Uh, and he'll uh, has options and he just loved the car. He just loved the car. So um, that's that slide. Um, uh, now, we do have ideas for revenue uh, prongs. Uh, one of them is the affiliate program, obviously the influencers. Many people have asked, are we part or are we working with Visa? Not directly. You have to almost be a bank to work directly with Visa. What we're doing though, is we have a reseller in Europe for prepaid debit cards. And that allows us, and they've got the affiliation with uh, Visa. And you almost have to be, you know, 10 years in business and, you know, a certain statue and a certain size to get direct with Visa. So what we're doing is um, coordinating and, and hooking up with, we're, we're making a presentation to MGM Grand out in, Las Vegas through a, cons uh, a consultant that does that, and we'll create the MGM logo, and they can hand this card out to their VIP high-end poker players, um, and it allows them to have, again, the dual fiat crypto uh, access. Um, also, corporations, um, uh, country clubs, um, you know, VI memberships, VIP memberships, um, anywhere where you've got, you know, upper end, you know, memberships um, are, are, are a big part of our marketing strategy. And we've got good people working on that now. Um, here's my most favorite, um, frankly, you know, is charity and fundraising. So how does that work? Well, so you go to a St. Jude. St. Jude probably has 10 million donors. So we're going to St. Jude and we're making a presentation um, that if you present our card to your donors and it's a prepaid debit card, we'll put the St. Jude logo on it, which is extremely high affinity. Um, and every time there's a reload of the card, there'll be a piece of that revenue coming to into the company into the uh into St. Jude as, you know, a, a donation. And it's a way to offer your donors a way to continuously uh donate to uh the 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 uh charity and we could stand to sell millions of cards. Um the cards run about $220, we make about $110 a card, so, you know, um, the profit margin is nice and um, kind of works for everybody. Um, but we're excited about this because, you know, in the age of COVID, uh, charities really took a toll and they had a hard time. So this is a tool that we can use. And we're talking to St. Jude and others uh, about this program. Um, everyone can go to the website and uh, see the ease of service. We redeveloped the website. It's nice, it's simple, it's secure. There's never been a security issue. Um, and, you know, our ability to get you back the card in, 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 you know, three to four days, you know, is, is really not a problem. And um, we've been successful at it. Um, 
And that's pretty much the end of the uh, slideshow. So uh, we feel as though uh, we have other plans for GDET. Uh, we're exploring mining as GDET was previously in mining. Uh, we're looking at another crypto uh, enterprise and mining has taken a real turn. Uh, we're talking to some oil and glass, gas explore, explorations, wells, operations, Michigan, South Dakota, North Dakota, Texas. Um, as everyone knows, when it comes to mining, the biggest cost is electricity and powering the cells. And there is a new emerging model wherein miners are going to platforms in the oil patch, connecting with oil wells and drawing down excess gas and excess energy from the wells. And that's coming in at an attractive cost that allows mining to be you know, conducted at a relatively um, uh, uh, cost-effective um, way. And that's a model that we're slowly moving into um, and exploring and talking to some groups. Uh, we do have experience in mining. The company was probably two or three years ahead of its time. Bitcoin went to $9,000. So mining was you know, an un, un, unprofitable point. Although I think it's a different era. I think Bitcoin's here to stay. I think mining's here to stay. I think Ethereum is here to stay. And Ethereum mining and Bitcoin mining is something that's going to be done for many, many years down the road. Um, I've been asked about, you know, GDET, IMTL. Is there synergy? Of course there's synergy. We have celebrities in IMTL platform for the NFTs. And can we use those contacts to then turn around and get uh, influencers and push the GDAT card for various reasons. Um, many, many celebrities have their own charity that they're very fond of. Um, so this can also be a charitable card for many celebrities, as you know, you know, they all have their own uh, their own charities that they you know, they push hard. And that's about the end of my presentation. Any questions I'd be glad to take. Anna? Yes, we do have some questions for you. Let's see. Sure. So are there any bank restrictions when making a custom card? I don't quite understand the question, but as we see it, no. What do you mean by bank restrictions? You mean um, what, what we're doing is we're... Um, um, you have your, 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 your terms of service with your card, with your bank. We're taking your terms of service and we're, you know, um, um, implementing those. Okay. So talk yeah. a little bit about, it, it, about it's not an issue that's ever come up. It's not an issue that's ever come up. Okay, good. Talk a little bit about some of the influencers you plan on using in the future. Well, you know, some of the influencers that we plan on using are, um, you know, in the uh, music um, and and primarily in the music space right now. Um, also, you know, we're in touch with some high end um, football, you know, sport type, you know, influencers. So those influencers are, you know, those that, you know, have an interest in monetizing their position. Um, they either want to monetize their position as an influencer or um, they're crypto minded to begin with. You take a Jim Jones, he's crypto minded, you know, to begin with. So um, those are the, the, the types we talk to. Um, we have a marketing campaign going, initiating in the next 30 days to uh, agencies that have B and A listed type celebrities. Uh, and showing them in their agents the opportunity we have uh, for their clients to monetize their image. Uh, you, you take something like Cameo. Cameo is a website where you know Jamie Foxx will go on and 
you know, say happy birthday to someone, he gets $2,500, it's a thrill. All celebrities have a strong fan base and fans love to touch celebrities in some way, shape or form. And we're trying to connect that. How does a celebrity allow his fan base to be more connected to him? And that's the purpose of, you know, the card. So how are you funding current operations and what's your current burn rate? Currently, we have uh, a, a burn rate, uh, a minor burn rate. Um, we have about $10,000 a month. Um, we have um, a, a group who's very friendly um, outside of uh, the, the, the usual suspects in the convertible note world that are uh, allowing convertible notes to be originated. Um, there's you know, not currently a conversion in, uh, in the works, um, but we're getting some you know, convertible notes. Um, I, I have an intention of putting some capital in and we have uh, projections that we feel um, in the next 60 to 90 days, um, our sales from the card and um, the uh, uh, website sales should be covering our burn. How are you different? And what are your advantages over somebody like Crypto.com Visa Card? Well, we have the world's only Visa and uh, Fiat and Crypto Card. So they are single-minded and nobody has the motivation to do what we do. If you're a, if you're a big pay, you don't have a reason to put Chase on your card because you want your customers only to use BitPay. And if you're Chase Bank, you don't have a reason to want your customers to go to and use their crypto. So we are the only company that, will, that can allow a user to have dual, a dual card. And that's what separates us from others. And when it comes to competition, really, Nobody has a reason to compete with us because we're taking two uh, uh, properties, combining them into one, and that's easier for the user, but have no advantage to the, the, the provider, the, the supplier. So that's why I see that. Talk a little bit about your marketing budget and what do you see the return on that investment being? Marketing budgets are all about who's doing the marketing. You can go to a marketing company and you can pay them $50,000 and, you know, then you can find a consultant that does a lot of business out in Las Vegas and you give them, you know, a uh, commission if he likes the concept. Uh, we like to approach individuals that already have an in with the marketing that we're targeted and offer them a commission of uh, the business they can generate. Um, we are just starting social media. Uh, we pay uh, for um, you know competitive rates for our social media. We just started a, a uh, uh, Instagram account. Uh, we'll do some organic. Um, we'll do some SEO. Lots and lots of you know uh, marketing through the internet and you know the, the, the typical channels to find the, the the users. But you know we have people in our network that are connected and, 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 and experienced with the St. Jude's of the world uh, and, 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 and the Las Vegas casinos of the world. So we'd like to think that we go, you know, uh, tuna hunting as opposed to minnow scalping. So that reduces budgets and we like to construct our budgets on performance primarily and that's our approach. So no, we're not gonna spend you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to find individuals for our cards. We're trying to target uh, uh, large groups where one sale could result in 5,000 cards. So what's the current amount of convertible debt outstanding and what is the discount? And do you plan on issuing more? We, we we will issue some convertible debt in the next 90 days. 
which will have a, 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 a probably a two year hold on it. The convertible debt that was out there when I walked in, um, you've asked me a question, I, I, I don't know offhand, so I don't want to give a wrong answer, um, but That's it's okay. you know um, relatively high. We have a chance to renegotiate that from the convertible debt that was done into GDEBT prior to me coming aboard was your typical, you know, 40 or 50% discount to the bid on a, on a, on a look back basis. Um, we're having meetings with all those, uh, with a couple funds and, you know, I, I don't see anyone, I don't see any threat to that. The only threat to GDEC is our inability to market and sell the card. I don't see the convertible note holders, which is just a, a handful, uh, maybe two or three, as a threat to 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 uh, the um, to the company, I do believe we can discuss you know leak out agreements and allow them to uh, execute some of their notes and not disrupt uh, the market you know a, a, as we know it. Um, our intention is to um, build a, 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 a base and also. Our mining operation will be, you know, primarily funded through debt, due to the fact that getting debt for servers coming out of China is relatively easy right now. So, which currencies are you planning on mining, and where do you plan on mining them? Give us a geographic location. Well, you know, right now we're exploring Texas, North Dakota, South Dakota, and um, actually Michigan. And the reason for that is. You have to find the right situation. Uh, it's got to be, you know, uh, a mining area that has the real estate and the infrastructure that you can put the servers in. And we have a very, very good consultant um, located in Texas who's in negotiation and talking with, you know, a handful of potential prospects for us. So, um, Texas is very, very hot. Um, it's not easy. Uh, it's not a first choice. North or South Dakota, with the advent of the new administration, is getting eager to look for new sources of revenue. And um, that's been very lucrative and very well received. So, you know, that, that's primarily what we're looking for. Are there any patents? No patents. Uh, although we have, well, we have patent pending on our. Um, uh, on our card, and we're following that in the next 10 days. Talk a little bit about how much revenue can be generated on your current path for 2022. Well, you know, I'm reluctant to give numbers. Um, I can give uh, numbers in terms of cards. Um, right now, you know, we would, you know, right now, you, you take a small situation of, you know, Jim Jones, he's got, you know, Five six million followers. Uh, if 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 a minor you know a percentage of those um, you know um, bought into um, his uh, promoting of the card with his image on it, and you took you know ten or fifteen influencers, um, where could we be? You know, we could be in the you know in in, in the millions of dollars in terms of revenue. Um, once a handful of a handful of influencers, you know, jumped in and really got aggressive with the card, and that would be our intention because um, COVID has hurt everybody. Um, this is a way to um, uh, assist don donors, uh, charities, and you know, um, influencers to you know get a unique product out there. And the card is just coolest. It, it, it's just the coolest card in the world. I got to tell you. You go to a restaurant, you drop it on the counter, you know, uh, it's just a cool thing. So there's a lot of retail in there, you know, to be had, but that's not really the high growth. The high growth is identifying uh, individuals that have large fan bases and identifying um, charities that could really use help with their donations. And if you think about, you know, a St. Jude, uh, you, I think they have 10 million donors. So, you know, a small percent of them using the card on a monthly basis, on a reloadable basis, on a piece of that going to St. Jude, a piece of that going to us, you know, the, the numbers can run. 
who are your competitors and what's your competitive advantage? Well, our, our competitors um, are one or two other metal designing cars. First of all, why are we different and what's our advantage? We can do uh, designs of your choice. Um, nobody else does that. You have set designs on their website and nobody does the dual car. Um, so that's what sets it apart. Uh, but there's only a few and no competitor has taken the marketing approach that we take in for the affinity, for the loyalty to go to the largest, um, uh, 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 you know, hospitals, to the large, you know, um, country clubs, casinos. Nobody's really taken that approach. Nobody's taken it as far as we've taken it. So they, they, they do a small retail business. How much money do you need to raise to the point that you become cash flow positive? Minor, minor amount, minor amount. I think we do it through revenue. We really have very, very small overhead. As a CEO, I take very, very little as far as income goes. Uh, number one, number two, um, very, very little. Um, our offices are, you know, uh, conservative. Uh, we have no big, you know, staff. Uh, really, this is a company with a product, with sales off the website, um, and it's really set to launch with minimal overhead. And, you know, ten fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a month will cover all overhead. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's not like, you know, we're burdened with that. That's the least of our problem. Our goals and our dream are to get out and sell this and to get uh, influencers and large, uh, you know, loyalty type venues to see the vision and understand it. And as crypto becomes more and more mainstay, um, it's becoming easier. And, you know, um, PayPal now takes Bitcoin, you know, uh, they're all jumping into, you know, uh, wanting to take crypto. So crypto is, you know, really helping the model. And that's really what sets us apart. Larry, are you planning a stock buyback when you put your capital in? It's a possibility. Um, if anybody knows my reputation or my activities from, you know, IMTL, I, you know, I, I filed numerous form fours. Uh, I bought over 100 million shares of stock in the common market, in the open market. Uh, many people were scratching their head. The stock was down. It was, you know, uh, uh, they didn't know what I was doing. They didn't know why. But I believed in the company. I believed in the vision. So, you know, and it was one of the best investments I ever made. So that would be a po strong possibility with, with GDAT as well. Final word? I, I, I think GDAT is priced very inexpensive right now. That's my feeling. Knowing that, you know, what we are, who we are, and where we can go. And the world is changing. The world's becoming more nimble. Corporations have to become more nimble and they have to have and create models, not chase them. And we have created something that nobody else has. And we've created something that nobody really has the um, uh, incentive to create because both parties are into their own selves, their own rights, pursuing their models. But we were, uh, how do I say this? We, we had the ingenuity to understand that if you put the two pieces together, um, it works for the consumer. And we take that to the next level and add the component of the self-design, the celebrity, the large country clubs, the casinos, you know, places that will benefit from the car. Um, when it comes to large, you know, businesses and in, 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 in that arena, let's face it, they want you inside, they don't want you leaving. So the more options they have for you to pay for the goods and services, well, the more they welcome that. So we accommodate that. And also we do it in a cool way. I mean, I'm a dog lover, you know? I don't put my dog on one, you know? You can really camp it up and make it fun, you know? Mother's Day, well, you give your mom one of these cards, you know? Uh, you put your wife on it, you know, you put your kids on it, you know, you can put your, 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 your kids date on it, you know, uh, your kids were born on certain days, you can put your sign on it, where are you, Sagittarius, you know, you can really kind of have fun with it. And that's, you know, that's the other joy of it. 
Well, thank you so much. This was a great presentation. We look forward to following up with you in the future. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. All righty. All right, everyone. Well, it's been a great conference today. So many wonderful people. In just a minute, you're going to be redirected to the registration page for the next conference. Be sure to stay on to reserve your spot early. So on behalf of all of us at Emerging Growth and Investors Hub, I'd like to thank you all and all of our presenters, all of our attendees for helping make this Emerging Growth and Investors Hub joint conference such a great success. Remember, a complete replay of the conference separated by company will be made available on the Emerging Growth Conference YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Emerging Growth Conference. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Emerging Growth C. We post all new information to Twitter first. So I'm Anna Berry, and on behalf of myself and our whole team who made this event possible today, I wish you a great rest of your day, a successful week, and we'll see you back here again soon. Thank you all.